Thank you very much. Welcome, everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to thank for inviting me to this panel. Um, I'm not going to talk about uh, hard data. I'm going to talk about some examples of, uh, of uh, creating global companies. Um, and we have talked, well, uh, our previous panels, they have talked about competitive advantage, uh, com competitiveness, quality, lean manufacturing, but how we implement that. And this is what we want to, uh, want to talk about. Yes, sorry. Let's, uh, it's about the TechVA program. TechVA stands for Technology Business Accelerator. It's a program of the Mexican government, the Ministry of Economic, uh, Economic Development. And what we do is basically we create global companies. We take companies from Mexico that they are technology based and we take them to compete in the international arenas. So let me give you uh, an overview of the, of the program. So we have eight different offices around the world. We have uh, five in the United States. We have uh, Silicon Valley, Phoenix, Austin, Detroit, and last Seattle. This is the youngest and the one that I represent. We also have two offices in Canada, Vancouver and Montreal, and finally in Madrid. So the way that we, the reason that we're focusing in those sector, well, those areas, is we are trying to target uh, in innovation hubs. So how, how do we do this? I mean, we identify industry first of all. So here in Seattle, particularly, we focus in three main areas. Well, this is information technology. Uh, obviously, you, you're aware of Microsoft, Expedia, Amazon. Google also have presence here in Seattle. Um, what the, F Facebook, for example, and it's very strong in the, in the, into the game industry as well. We have uh, uh, Big Fish, we have Nintendo having presence here as well. Um, and then the other two main industries that we focus is in aerospace, uh, high manufacturing, uh, with obviously Boeing being the main tractor. We have also biotechnology, and this is the uh, University of Washington is uh, helping a lot into this sector. Um, please uh, also consider the clean technology and logistic uh, that we're also trying to penetrate these, these industries. Well, this is not possible by the help of uh, the federal government, the state, go uh, state government, also with the association of uh, industry associations um, and also the community. So these are the three main pillars that we're looking for in sector, in the, in the areas that we go and, and establish uh, different offices. So we want to make partnership with the local associations. This is the University of Washington. Um, we, also, we also partner with the Washington Technology Center, the Port of Seattle. But also we have to make presence and interact with the government because we want to identify the needs of the industry and how we can help to establish new policies, for example, in order to fulfill the, their needs. Also, we have to be to to interact with the community. This is because we have to understand the, co the, the business culture in order to penetrate the market and to teach our companies to, to close some deals. So in this perspective, um, here in Seattle, it's a, it's a very open community for business. Uh, something that is very different from, from Mexico is they create, uh, they create relationship based on business and not the other way around. So Mexican, co Mexican companies are normally, they sell through reference, where here it's more about the, the product and having a sales force. So with that uh, in mind, well, we, well, I want to show you some results about the tech, the, the tech VA program. So this, uh, this program has been created in 2005 with the only mandate to provide environment, innova innov innovative environment for for, for companies and open global markets. Um, we have uh, served around 700 companies from all across Mexico, and we have uh, 150 companies of, those, of, of that bulk. We have generated 160 million in revenue uh, for, from international sales. But we have a combined sales of uh, 1 billion between national and international. We have also generated 3,500 3, new employments, but this is high quality, high value employment. This is engineers, 
technicians uh, and also the scientific. Uh, as I told you before, um, some of the, of the sectors that we're looking for to, to tackle through all those different uh, uh, areas is IT, aerospace, automotive, obviously from Detroit, uh, life sciences, and this I will include biotechnology, medical devices, electronic health records, um, well, you name it. Energy as well, and finally, high manufacturing. Um, some of the facts that we have from, uh, from my, the office that I represent here in Seattle. I started here back in April 2010, and we started operation with the new, with the new generation of companies in October 2010. And since then, we have uh, helped 45 companies to inter integrate or to have the international experience. Ten of these companies have been already incorporated in the United States, either locally here in the, in the Washington state or in, in some other areas of, this, of, of the United States, depending on the tax uh, the strategy. Uh, five of those companies, they have started to, well, filing for patent registration. Four companies of the, uh, of the 45 companies, they have been active hiring co um, local, local ta talent. And myself, I, I have 15 company, f sorry, 15 consultants to provide services to the, to the, to the Mexican companies. Uh, here, two blocks away from here, we have an, an office, a large office, that we provide work, uh, 50, uh, 12 uh, workstations for, for the companies. So they come here, they get, the, they get accelerated here. So it's very different to get uh, incubated because, because we're talking about well-established companies. So they come here, they establish here, and they will use the, the, our, our, our offices as a business address. Um, obviously, we have, uh, I want to mention five of our strategic partners, which is obviously the city, the city of Bellevue, uh, Enterprise Seattle, the Trade Development Alliance, the Washington Biotechnology and Biomedical Association, the WTIA, and finally, Benspark, which is a new company that is uh, providing consultancy to, to companies. So we rely on in, in basic ideas. Uh, the one is, uh, we focus in technology incentive businesses with very vertical solutions. So we, um, they mentioned before that we have, to fo we have to focus in very competitive solutions and products. And the only way to achieve this is by focusing the core, in the core business. So we, we try to generate from these uh, technology companies, make them very verticals. I mean, what is happening in Mexico is that most of the companies are very horizontal. They try to tackle different, different sectors across the, the value chain. And this is a, uh, precisely a lack of concentration in the core, in the core business. Um, also, we focus a lot in the, in, the, in the structure of the company. So, and we have to look for leaders. Uh, this is, uh, we have to look for leaders that they can implement a vision in the company and, they can per and that can permit in the whole structure of, uh, of, the, of the company. So the same as VCs, or venture capital, we focus in people. I mean, ideas is important, but people is crucial. We have to make them learn really to, to implement and to operate their business correctly. But not only that, we have to look for entrepreneurs. As I told you before, uh, although they are well-established companies in Mexico, they have to come here and they have to, they are basically taken out of their zone of comfort. So they have to, um, they have to fight every day to acquire that first customer. And this is the most exp expensive customer to acquire. And this is precisely what we want to, we want to help. So, David, uh, the previous panelists mentioned before, product is extremely important. We focus a lot in product, not in services. Services are very difficult to scale. Um, but in the process and how to, how to sell this product is important. That this is the one that you, you will achieve economies of scale, how to implement this. Um, obviously, we, we talk about competitive advantages. Mexican companies, normally when you ask uh, what the competitive advantage are, they will mention cost, and this is false. We don't want to compete in cost because we cannot compete with China and India. We have to compete in quality. 
So with this, uh, with the presentation, I really want to change the perception of the, Mexi of the Mexican talent. We are now exporting technology. We are not exporting the low quality labor, right? So we focus in, uh, in quality, in, in, our quali in, uh, in the quality of our products. We position our companies, obviously, with near sharing. Near sharing meaning, obviously, the time, the time zone, the, your, the proximity in location. But also, we feel that we have a cultural affinity with the United States and, we, and with Canada, rather than, obviously, than, than India and China. But still, we have to understand the market, and we have to be the best in the market. This is the only way that we can win this battle. Um, and the other basic idea that we have to implement is we have to test the market as soon as possible. Right when they come and touch uh, international ground, they have to be outside, no matter if they are in the alpha, st in the alpha stage or the beta stage. Um, so, and they, they can go back to Mexico and implement those, uh, those improvements. We have to react very fast and we have to be flexible. Um, so finally, we have to understand the barriers of entries for that to set the right, the correct strategy. Okay. So how we do it? This is a very, uh, this is a well-known diagram. So basically, we focus in six different uh, aspects of the company that they are interconnected. First, the first one is the product, as I told you before. Second, the market. The market we have to understand the market. What type? What is the share of the market that we want to tackle? The technology. What we are. Uh, are we implementing? Is it that we are licensing, we are licensing the technology, we are buying the technology, or we are generating that technology? We have to have a very clear idea of our technology roadmap. This is like we have to see along the market where we have to implement new technology and how we, are, we want to grow this. The second, the, the next one is resources. Resources meaning financial resources and uh, human, resource, human capital. This is in order to make a good strategy and, and fulfill the technology roadmap, we have to see what, the, what are our financial resources and obviously the capital. Um, going a, I'm going a little bit faster just to go uh, for the discussion. The business model is implemented through all the, of the previous ones. And finally, distribution. How do you want to distribute, to distribute that, depending on the, on the sector of the industry that you are working in? Uh, obviously, in the, in the video, game, video game sector, for example, the distribution is extra, it's uh, one of the barriers of entrance because it's extremely expensive. So along all these different sectors, we start for right from the middle to develop the companies. We go from elevator, elevator pitch and to see where, obviously, in, along those four, six different sectors, then we go into the business case or the business plan. The business plan is not having a deck to present. It's really having a sound business plan on how you are going to tackle that market. And finally, the operational plan. Um, very briefly, how we do it is we have uh, two phases. The first phase is uh, the business, the, the pre-acceleration phase that we, we have to teach them. We have to we bring them here. We, they, they get familiar with the, with the ecosystem. They know about, they learn about ta taxation. They know how the, the culture of the business, but also they have to learn about Operational, uh, operational efficiency. We want to make these companies obviously very, very efficient in how to implement these products. And this is where we're talking the, the same, the same theme about uh, lean manufacturing, uh, total quality management, for example. And then after, after that uh, pre-acceleration phase, we have a business plan which is sound, and then we implement that uh, along. It could be eight to 12 months and then in fir first year of acceleration and second year of acceleration. And finally, well, I want to talk about the companies that we have and the whole network of TechPA, uh, the, the 700 uh, plus companies that I told you before. Uh, up to 2009, we have 80% of those companies that were in the IT sector. Obviously, we, we want to change that. The only reason that we, it's, this is happening is because there are less barriers of entry. So it's very simple, where you require less investment and you also require less people. There you will find outside there that there are 
um, video game companies, and they are from only for, from two people. Uh, let me go into successful cases in the last year. Uh, we have two video game companies that they managed to sell their, co their products. Uh, Caxon is the most successful one. They have a, it's a company based in Guadalajara. Uh, they, we have provided some technical and business support, and now they have been there for, for, two, for one week in August. It has been the most uh, downloaded application in the App Store. It has been, uh, they have partnered with Chilingo. You may, I don't know if you know Chilingo, but uh, you might know Angry Birds. Chilingo has been the, the distributors of uh, Angry Birds, and we have established the same con uh, connection as Angry Birds. So the, the application, Taco Master, I encourage you to download this, this application. It's very addictive, and it has been downloaded more times in Mexico than Angry Birds for one week. Uh, Dreaming. This is a very, uh, an, a very good case. It's a firm from very young entrepreneurs. Uh, it's, it has been formed in Mexico from uh, five, uh, five people. They came here with a very no, uh, novel uh, technology. It has been a framework of, uh, to develop an uh, application in, into, the, into the iPad or iPhone with the I, iOS. Uh, they start selling apps to Microsoft. So that's uh, the apps for iPhone or iPad. So believe it or not, it has been a very appealing technology. It has been a lot of traction. And what ended up happening, it has been a merge with a local company here. Um, and nowadays, they have um, hired another eight people into the, into the company. And they have become the strongest developer for iOS in Latin America. Uh, this is because it has been together with the uh, local company. They become one of the refer preferred referrals for for Apple or the world, for for developers for 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 applications. Okay, so as a conclusion, I have uh, talked today about a successful model to accelerate and to generate global companies. Um, I told you before I, went, I don't want to be to sound re redundant, but people structure and operation is is crucial together with the product. Uh, we facilitate through local consultants. They are not Mexican. They are, we are hiring consultants from, from, the, from the area to provide the services to, to, the, to the Mexican companies. And the hubs, this is very important because I want to encourage our political class to discuss about this. We focus on education. We want to see the um, the needs of the companies that they have in the industry, and we want to generate in Mexico good talent to fulfill those spaces. Also, we want to educate our political class to understand what are the needs of the, of the industry so they can implement new policies. Finally, when something that is lacking in Mexico, the, investor, the investment in the institution. Uh, very few companies are used to go into the investment, in, into investment rounds. We want to get well. We want to get private money to go into innovation, because at the moment they have been investing pretty much in services, construction, for example, uh, restaurants, hotels. Um, so, based on these uh, in these three topics, I want to. Uh, I hope we can generate a very good discussion. Thank you very much.